coming to us 7.20 in Trinidad and Tobago. And as usual on uh, Monday, maybe with one or two exceptions, we have a business breakfast. And uh, this morning, our business breakfast focuses on protocol and etiquette or etiquette, as someone once mentioned to me. Well, the Trinidad and Tobago Corporate Training Academy, formerly uh, the TNT School of Protocol, they're hosting a series of training events uh, next month. Uh, they'll host a corporate protocol and etiquette training course on March 2nd and 3rd at the UTT Corinth campus in San Fernando. And then on March 8th and 9th, uh, customer service three-day training course uh, will, will take uh, place. Uh, we're joined now by Wendy Lewis, who is the chief of protocol and also the principal of the Trinidad Tobago Corporate Training Academy. Uh, very good morning to you. Uh, thanks Pleasant very much morning. for joining us. Good Thank to you have you with me. us. You've held these events uh, before. Uh, what can people look forward to? Uh, and by the way, I should mention the, the three-day customer service is from the 8th to the 10th, Saturday the 8th to the 10th. Uh, the event, I said 8th to the 9th, but uh, you can realize I can't add it because 8th and 9th is two days. It's a three-day event. So it's the 8th <laughs> to the 10th uh, of, of March. Uh, uh, yes, so tell us, uh, what can people look forward to with these particular events? For the Corporate Protocol and Etiquette course, they can expect um, training on greetings and order lines, the table of precedence, email etiquette, dining etiquette, events, a touch of public speaking, etc. And who are you uh, reaching out to to benefit from this? Because it's defined as corporate protocol and, and etiquette. So yes. are you talking about business executives, people operating at that level? Yes, business executives. I'm targeting not just corporate as well. You have people from the restaurant industry, entertainment and media who would benefit from corporate protocol and etiquette because it's not only for people who whose job are in corporate, but for people who also interact with people who are in corporate. And while we're having our conversation, let's get the, the basic information, the uh -huh. nuts and bolts uh, out there immediately. If people want to register for, uh, for, for these events, either one or both, what do they have to do? They can do a few things. They can register through our Facebook page, the Trinidad and Tobago Corporate Training Academy. They can send an email to TTT Corporate Training Academy at gmail.com or they can call 756-3549. All right, I'm going to repeat that information as well before we conclude uh, this morning. So why is this important? Why, why, why would you say that, that issues related to, to corporate protocol and etiquette in the first place and then we'll get to the customer service right. issue in a moment? Why is it important? Because we're interacting with people on an international level daily, whether we like it or not. And there are gaps that need to be filled. There are times we have events and the wrong greetings and order lines are said, not because people... Um, are slack in any particular way they just don't know they just don't know the right thing and you can't say what you don't know so it's an opportunity for you to get the right information so that you communicate effectively at a senior level is there an element of uppityness and st stiffy and starchy sort of thing related to to protocol that you know what is it from a business point of view uh, mm -hmm. is it more productive to not be entirely informal I mean you don't turn up to an uh, event in a vest and a slippers but uh, you'll be to, surprised okay <laughs> well, uh, right. okay but uh, I suppose it's, is it a, a risk that you can be too starchy and, 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 and protocol obsessed in dealing with with corporate clients and so on I, I think you have to set boundaries and that's one of the things you would learn um, people would learn at the course when to do it when not to do it because you don't live in protocol mode there are times you have to know when to dress how to dress corporate attire is one of the things we cover as well so there's something called boundaries in protocol which people would use which will avoid that what you've just mentioned and, and what has been the feedback you would have gotten from clients previously who would have participated in these oh, exercises? phenomenal actually um, particularly a lot of people were blown away with some of the things that they recognized that they weren't even aware of. Um, and that relates to stuff like the table of precedence and even greetings and order lines. That is something that I've been looking at and hearing daily. And you know, you cringe because you teach it. So then you would, for example, walk into an establishment and you would give the, the correct greeting line and the person would say something totally opposite and th with confidence. And it's because they genuinely don't know. For example, someone who says good evening at 3 p.m. Mm. And, and some will say, so what? What is the big deal? If I say, if I say good evening at 3 p.m. or good night at 2 a.m. or whatever. It's incorrect. So, so, but, you but, should but, aim for perfection and want to do but, the right but, but thing. But is it important? Does it of course matter? it is. Why it, is of it course important? it matters. It's important because you should do the right thing and you should appear a particular way if you want to receive the current clientele. Okay. Uh, and it's a corporate it, image. Okay, correct. You know, correct. We like I, to have, we, I like these conversations with you. Let's talk about that uh, a little bit because 
Uh, in fact, we, we probably would need another hour and a half to Correct. talk about issues related to customer service. Uh, how would, who are you reaching out to with this particular event? With customer service, I'm reaching out to everyone who serves in well, a we public all establishment. And one of the things that I recognize, and the gap with this is completely different from the protocol. I think the root cause, after doing extensive research, for the, custom, the lack of customer service in Trinidad and Tobago is a lot of people who are serving in establishments are working for money as opposed to having a servanthood heart. Back in the day, we had teachers who had a passion to teach and you saw leadership qualities in them. You saw your teachers as your second parents. Now you have people, customers, who are serving customers who are just there for the money. So they don't care how they dress, they don't care how they speak, they're not interested in learning the menu, they speak to you how and they you feel. Know, but, is, yeah. but isn't that a reflection of management? I agree, and to an extent, if you pay peanuts, you get monkeys, mm -hmm. pretty much. So managers now have to invest in their staff. So this is for the owners of those establishments now to know that if your service is poor, people will not return to your establishment. But, but doesn't that suggest, and uh, yeah, that, that, thing, that phrase about if you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. I remember Judy Raymond, who was the editor of The Guardian, <laughs> giving you that phrase for the first time. And, and, uh, and clearly it's something that, that really hits home at that particular point. Uh, she was the editor of The Guardian at that time. Uh, she's now moved on to the news day. But in, in relation to, to this, you, you talk about the... The, the, the frontline staff, whether uh -huh. they be in a restaurant or in a business place or whatever, and how poor the service is, yes. how rude, how uninformed, how do care damn they may be. Mm -hmm. But again, at, at the risk of just pointing the fingers at in one direction, mm -hmm. isn't that a reflection of management's failure to see that as important enough? Because you say people only working for money. If I the management saying, well, me really care, nah? if they, if they, however, once, I, once the money rolling in, I really don't care what yeah, going on. Yeah, but they will soon care when the money stops rolling in. Because there are a lot of individuals like myself who will not return to an establishment if I'm paying money, not just for the product, I'm paying for service as well. Well, at the risk of sounding rude, they might say, well, Wendy Lewis, we need you, you know, we have enough customers as it is. And then that says a lot about their clientele. So it depends on the establishment and what they want to achieve. So if you're a high-end restaurant and you have corporate clients and your staff aren't trained appropriately and they are not functioning at a level, you would lose those corporate clients. So therefore, your business will not be profitable. So what is going to be happening at that, at that three-day event from Thursday the 8th to, to Saturday the um, 10th? At the um, customer service event, what we're going to ha be having is lessons on servanthood, serving, dining, etiquette, um, principles of good customer service. We have information on leadership. We also have a guest speaker. We have two guest speakers, okay. actually. So for customer service, we have Yasmin Stout. She is an expert in customer service, particularly in the restaurant field. Um, she has attended hotel management schools internationally. So Yasmin will be one of our guest speakers. And then we have Dr. Ian Cummins, who will be dealing with servanthood and a touch of leadership. And just the word servanthood, yeah. and we've had this discussion yes. already, will we'll, we'll raise people's the hairs on the back of the neck in yeah. the sense that me and nobody servant, you know. The days of slavery and indentureship over. That's a mindset issue. So then if, if they hear the word servanthood and they quickly flip to slavery, that's a whole mindset issue because servanthood has nothing to do with slavery. But shouldn't there be a different term? Because just the, just the word servant means that I am inferior to you and I have to, and I that have to I be your I servant. Have to humbly disagree it's a different, it's a different yeah. between saying I am serving you because I have, I have, no, I have no problem with I am serving, I'm providing yeah. a service to you. Yeah. But if I am your and that servant, stems from servanthood. if I am your servant, I am supposedly inferior to you, am I? I you are not the servant. Mm -hmm. Servanthood is, is different from being a servant. But servanthood mm -hmm. is, 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 is the act of providing service, service by a servant. You're providing a service. Mm -hmm. And it's, it comes back to this, let me flip it across. In order to lead, you have to be able to follow. So if you're serving, you would want to be served in a, a particular manner. So therefore, what is the issue with serving? And how do you get over that, that, that mindset issue? If it is that, and, and we were just, I mean, even as we were talking, we were having conversations in the background. I ain't going to nothing where people telling me about servanthood. I ain't going to be no servant to nobody. How do you get over that mindset? And therefore, that individual has to look at it differently. 
if you want to be served appropriately, you have to be able to serve. And therefore, you're coming to serve to better yourself. It's personal development. It's not about the other individual. It's like forgiveness, where people think it's about the other individual and it's about you. So if you're coming to a course that is going to teach you and guide you to servanthood, it makes you a better person. So it depends on how you look at it. And from, from your own experience, have you been able to convert a lot of people who oh, yes. were who, 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 who strongly opposed to this idea of, of servanthood? Well, actually, I haven't had um, very much people who had an issue with the term servanthood. That's mm -hmm. why we keep repeating the courses, because mm -hmm. after you groom and you shift the mindset in one caliber of people, it breeds another, because someone will tell someone, I attended this course. It was really good. It didn't only deal with customer service per se. It dealt with my personal development, how to serve, how I would want to be served, and by simple recommendations. And give, give me your own experience, Ms. Lewis, as far as your, your involvement in, in, in this whole idea of promoting better quality service, etiquette, protocol. I must say, I mean, I've lived in London for 17 years. I've been back in Trinidad 10 years. And I am still adjusting to the lack of customer service. I think it's a cultural thing because our culture is very laid back and anything goes. And I had an issue with keep addressing a problem and not having a solution. We're supposed to be problem solvers and game changers. So that is where the School of Protocol would have stemmed from initially. And of course, because we would have added a lot of different modules, emotional intelligence, communications, etc., we've now rebranded to the Corporate Training Academy. So the need is there. And at the time, there wasn't anyone providing it because people weren't even recognizing that there were an issue, that there was an issue rather. And therefore, the school is just growing and growing and the reason why we could afford to grow and expand is because we're fulfilling a need. And before we conclude, let's remind everybody about the events. It's a two-day corporate protocol and etiquette training, Friday the 2nd and 3rd of March, followed by a three-day customer service training, Thursday the 8th, Friday the 9th, Saturday the 10th of March 2018 and the contact information once again. Email triple T corporate training academy at gmail.com or telephone number 756 3549 or on our Facebook page at Trinidad and Tobago Corporate Training Academy. And I just want to give the price sure. as well. Yes. So for the two day corporate protocol and etiquette, it's 3000 TT. And for the customer service, it's 3750 TT. That's $3,750. And if you would like to do both, you get a discount of $750, which takes you down to $6,000. And is there a deadline for people to register? Yes, the deadline for registration is next Friday. So next Friday. So yeah. it's, it's not uh, too far away now. So not you have the far. opportunity uh, to, to benefit from uh, from these courses. Ms. Lewis, thanks very much Thank uh, for you so joining much for us having uh, this me. morning. You're more than welcome. So uh, indeed, uh, we all have to up our game in a certain way when it comes to, to, to matters of service and quality of service in Trinidad and Tobago, even if we like to make fun of uh, some of the, the starchy sort of protocols. Uh, apparently it works in, 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 in some respect, but, but more, more seriously, it makes a huge difference when whoever you're dealing with realizes that you understand their culture, their, more, their ways of doing things, and you respect uh, their ways of doing things as well. It makes a huge difference, uh, just from a, a human communication point of view.